Okay, this is my DeWalt 618 router. I bought one just like it at an estate sale. And when I bought that one, he gave me this one because this one didn't work. He said, this piece here was missing. He said that he had to change his uh, brushes. There's one of the brushes right there. Had to change that and in the process lost the top. So we went out and bought another router because he was made of money. But anyway, I got this one for free, essentially. Found that I could buy this top for 10 bucks. So I did, put it on, spent you know an hour trying to find the right screws to put it on, but I did it. And plugged it in, turned it on. And for the first two seconds, absolutely nothing happened. And I was like, huh, that's not a good sign. And then it exploded. <laughs> it turns out what happened is Right in the middle there, these are my tweezers, right in the middle here. You see a copper thing in there? That's a brush. No, it isn't. That's a commutator pad that the brush rides on. And if you turn it to here, you'll see there is no commutator pad there. It's gone. Well, it's not gone. It's just not there. Oops. Now I got the brush stuck in the hole. After shaking all the garbage that came flying out of the router, you know, down in here, the fins, I found a bunch of these. I believe these to be the fins on the cooling impeller, cooling fan. So, that's a problem. But the biggest problem is I think this here is what's left of the commutator pad. I'm not entirely sure, but it's about the right size, right color. And the weird thing is, this also came out. This little piece here, it looks like it's black plastic like the fins, but it isn't. It's metal. It looks a lot like that, the, those flakes of really, really heavy rust that you get from like a car that's been sitting out in a salt field for a while. So I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm hypothesizing that this piece of metal got in here somehow while this thing was sitting around without a lid. And somehow, when I started it up, that happened. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm not going to throw it out. I'm going to keep it for parts. I don't think it's possible to, well, of course it's possible. I don't think I can afford to get a new commutator pad and fix that. And I don't really want to go to the expense of getting a new all, uh, armature for the whole thing. So I think I'm just going to keep this one for parts. The other one I bought works great. So if anything goes wrong with it, I hope it's not a commutator pad because 